I'm Scott Allen Miller. It is the 27th of February, 2023, and this is my vlog, Daily Life, in Leon, Nicaragua. Today I'm being joined by Liesl and Luciana. Hello. We're going to be doing another taste test of snacks you find in Nicaragua right after the bomb. All right, we're back from the bump. The girls are here. We're doing snacks. Today, we're doing kitty snacks. Now, I hear that the cats love these, but that is not what we're talking about. Kitty is a brand of snacks coming from Costa Rica. It's one of the lesser known brands, and we don't find it in very many stores here, but it is pretty common if you go to Managua to like Price Mart, you can get big variety packs of it, and that's what's pretty interesting. So that's what we have to show you guys today, is we have a dozen different snacks from Kitty that we're gonna talk about. So. Let's get right to it. First one up is Taquitos de Maíz Sabor Criollo. All right, this one's interesting. Um, the, it is little taquitos, which is little tiny tacos. Basically, they're crunchy little um, um, rolled up tortillas. But what's really interesting about these is the Sabor Criollo, which is Creole flavor. You may think that's gonna be spicy or something very uh, similar to what you would find in like New Orleans, but it is not. It's actually the flavor of ketchup and mayo. So these, I actually really like these. These are possibly my favorite from this collection of kitty snacks. Um, and you can see, hopefully you guys can see on the video, you're pretty far away. We've got the microphone on the table, so sorry for that. We had no wind cover, so we put a dishcloth over it. But kitty brand, uh, you can see on there. Um, uh, and these are these are probably my favorite of this collection. What do you think, girls? I haven't. I don't know if I've had those. Really? I can't remember what they taste like. <laughs> Not well prepared for this particular video. That we'll put into the maybe we're gonna try on the show uh, pile. All right. Next up, Kitty Papas Tostadas con sabor de mayonesa. Now these I know are one of Luchana's favorites. Mm -hmm. I've already had some today. <laughs> So these are a ruffle style ridged potato chip, but the flavor is mayonnaise, which is actually pretty good. I, I really like it as well. Yeah. Like it's interesting. I don't know anyone else who does mayonnaise flavored chips. So that's one to look for. All right, next up we have palomitas sabor caramelo. All right, palomita is uh, Spanish for popcorn um, or something similar because they say de maiz. So it's like popped of corn, something like that. Um, there are apparently other styles of things like this that are uh, that are popped. Um, this one is the candy coated one. What do you guys think of this one? I like them. It's been a while, but I don't remember liking them too much. I'm with Liesl. These I do not like. Um, the the sweet, I don't generally like sweet popcorn, but these um, these don't do it for me. Don't be fooled, that's not, it's not popcorn. It really it's isn't. Not. Oh, yes, that's important. The word palomitas is popcorn. So that is, the Spanish is correct for popcorn. They are not popcorn. It is more similar to a cheese puff, mm -hmm. but yeah, in, but those, cheese. well, yeah, minus without the cheese. cheese, it's the, it's the, the corn, the puffed corn of that, but with, with a uh, sweet glaze on it. But that brings us to the next one, the Kitty Palomitas de Mantequilla. This is the butter flavored one. So also no cheese. So basically a cheese puff that's butter flavored, Mantequilla flavored. Now, unlike the caramello ones, which I really don't like, I love these. Those ones are okay. Yeah, they're good. They're definitely oh, really flavorful. Very flavorful. Yeah, there's a lot of butter in these. So if you're looking for a cheese a puff, salt. but uh, probably a lot of salt as well. Uh, so if you're looking for that popcorn flavor, but the cheese puff consistency, this is the way to go. This is one of the, I think, shining stars of the kitty snack lineup. Uh, also, no, she says no. Next up is Rico's, which means rich ones. Uh, these are very similar. These are larger cheese puffs, but with cheese flavor. They're okay. I don't know if I've tried them. <laughs> Lisa has not tried enough of these. We need to work on this. Um, I only get I, the ones I like. I think these are okay, but they're definitely not my favorites. Uh, but we'll put that into the maybe try pile. Now these are interesting. These are a perennial favorite around here. They're called yukitas, but they're yuca chips. I've not had them. They're pretty good. Lisa likes these. 
Dominica also will fight for these. So you have to be careful. She will get them and they will disappear. But they are just yuca chips. So I never eat these because we can get yuca chips just like this um, on the street. So yuca chips, if you're not familiar, just like potato chips, but made with yuca, which is also known as cassava, which some of you know is tapioca. Uh, but here they're called yuca and they just slice it. It's a root vegetable. They slice it just like potato chips, fry it just like potato chips, and it really holds up a lot like a potato chip. Um, yucas play a big role in um, in replacing potato as a starch here in Central America. So I never eat these because I can get the same thing on the street, oh, fresh made. But uh, we're gonna put them over here. Chana may wanna try one today. All right, next up is, these are funny. They're called churries, hearkening to churros. They're actually, uh, so they're made from corn. Uh, they describe them as palitos de maize. I don't know what that means, something of corn. But then they, they in English, corn sticks. So it's just sticks of corn. Um, and they're very crunchy. And uh, what flavor do they, these are just called spicy flavor. I think they're barbecue. I'm pretty sure they're barbecue. Ah, they call them spicy, barbecue-ish spicy. They're okay. I don't I don't particularly like them. They're, they're definitely okay. I like them. I like them. I think they're probably like my second favorite. All right. Next up, these are pretty straightforward. This is Papa's Tostadas or... Huh? I'm sorry. I'm potato, chip. potato chips. <laughs> with uh, cream of onion flavor. So basically sour cream and onion. Uh, ridged potato chips. So very normal. So it's the same chips as the mayonnaise flavor, but with sour cream and onion or cream and onion. They, it, it's slightly different than what we call sour cream, but very similar. If you're missing sour cream chips here i think these are probably the best to give you that american uh flavor the the thing that you're missing yeah i'd say they about taste the same as the sour cream and onion chips that, like you get at like grocery not at like grocery, uh, sorry, I mean a gas station <laughs> so Thank it's you. also worth noting that here sometimes we get yuca chips in sour cream and onion as well so that does exist there are replacements all right next up we have anillos which is literally just rings these are barbecue flavored, and I think they are. They're, they're not. No, they're, aren't they lime they're flavored? They're, they're lime chili flavored. Oh, you're right. Lime cool. cherry flavored. Um, and these are wheat flour. So they're very different. They're not. You, you look at this and you're going to think these are going to be corn rings. They're actually wheat rings. I do not like these. I don't like them. I don't like the lime. They're not good. The consensus is no. Can't be all winners, Kitty can't be all winners there's a dog in our bushes there there is he's right there i hope I he's in the video because he's hilarious yeah, he's, right there. he's right there eating one of the bushes all right next up we have oh, jala jalapeno chili nacho chips i don't know if i've had those they are i don't know if I've had they're them. very straightforward nacho chips the same as you get from doritos or whatever um these here it's consistent both in in Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Honduras, where they make a lot of these chips. If it's a red package in the U.S., that's going to indicate that it's a nacho cheese. Here it indicates that it's the spicy flavor. Uh, so if you're getting um, the ones that we get from Honduras all the time, the orange are what we consider red Doritos in the U.S., the flavor of just, just cheesy chips. The red ones always have that extra spice. They're not super spicy, but it's, it's got a kick to it. So these are the jalapenos. They're okay. I've always considered red as the spicy color, like for chip bags. I didn't you realize would, that wasn't normal. It's Well, it probably is normal. It's just not Dorito normal. Mm. Dorito blue is also a um, cool American flavor. Cool Ranch? Cool Ranch <laughs> in the U.S., but other places call it Cool American. All right, this is one of the interesting ones, Cronchitos. These are wavy sticks. They're pretty crunchy, and these are barbecue. So these are corn, crunchy corn sticks, and they show them being dipped in a bean sauce. They probably hold up really well if you have like a barbecue-ish bean sauce to, to or whatever to, to dip them in. Um, and they also uh, say to try them with ceviche, which makes a lot of sense. Ceviche, for those who are not aware, very popular down here, especially if you're going out to the bar, you're having drinks with friends, and you're looking for snacks. Ceviche is an uncooked seafood cocktail 
um, that you normally scoop with crackers or yuca chips or something like these. So that's interesting that they're suggesting this is a thing, but it's very big here. Cevicherias um, are a common place to go out when you're gonna go have beers with friends like after work or whatever. Uh, and so it's a very popular food. You find it all over, uh, partially because it's less expensive to prepare. You don't have to have heat sources or whatever. Things are cooked in lime juice typically and limes are everywhere. Those ones are my favorite. These are quite good. Yeah, that's right. I, what do you think of these? They're okay. In my opinion, these are the better version. You think those are better? I like these better because they're barbecue. Those they're are barbecue. spicy flavored. They they're seem barbecue. they're a little bit different. They are barbecue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's still barbecue. All right. And the last one up is bolita sabor a queso. These are traditional cheese puff balls, much like you get in the U.S. from like Utz or whoever. Um, but these, I really like these. Haven't tried them. They're okay. They're just cheese puffs. They're just cheese puffs, but I think they're really good, just cheese puffs. All right, that is our, do we want to try some of these on the show? Yeah. All right, are we just going to try these three? I think so. All right, let's do this. Before we get to actually trying the, the chips, and because we're worried about the uh, camera overheating, it already overheated while we were setting up once, and we're hoping all the audio and everything works. We're, we're doing this a little bit complex here. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you'd yeah. like to get down and support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Miller, and all of those proceeds come directly to me and help support getting chips and cameras and microphones and all the things necessary to make this show possible. And uh, remember to share on social media. And if you have, I want to know what snacks you're interested in seeing, which ones are your favorites, what have I not tried with the girls that is delicious or terrible, and we need to try here in Nicaragua. Get down there in the comments down below. Look, scroll down. It's, it's down there. No, not under the table, Luchan. It's actually on the computer that they're on. The people in the com in the camera up there, they're actually at home, and they can look under the screen, and uh, there should be a comment section that they can go to, but they're not actually here under the table. And uh, if you leave comments there, um, I try to respond to everything. Let us know what you think about these snacks, what we should try, what you like, what you don't like. Post on social media, and let's get to it. All right. What are we trying first? Luchana is trying Yukitas. I'll let you open that. Who is trying the cheese puffs? I guess I will. I, it seems I'm the only one having Rico's. Time. There we go. And I'm going to open up the taquitos with flavor of Creole. Everybody's going to really hear the bags because the microphone's actually right here. So, move it away. Yeah. It's part of the experience. You can... No, Dad, I said move it away. <laughs> it's not right. an ASMR channel. It ah, is now. I dropped them. Oh, we look. Puff down. Puff down. All right, Luchana first. That, that crunch. That crunch is definitely on there. All right, now I'm trying the, the taquitos. This is not fair. This is my favorite of the group. Dad, no. Stop it. Mmm. So good. I hate chewing. Tastes like a Cheeto. Yes, I feel those are more like Cheetos, not spicy Cheetos. And here we'll pass them down. I get this one and you get this one. So Chana's gonna try the next one. It's an interesting flavor, ketchup and mayo on a crunchy little stick. Yeah, they could have more flavor in my opinion, but. I think I would like a little bit more flavor, but, but it's a good flavor. I really enjoy those. I wish we could get those in a bigger bag. These, I wish came in bigger bags. They probably do. I just don't know where to get them. And the Mantequilla Palomitos, that, if they had a huge bag of that, we get that all the time. And they do good potato chips. If you're looking for just potato chips, I think Kitty does the most it's like chips back home, uh, like getting ruffles kind of thing that we, it's hard for us to get here. All right, I'm trying the Ricos. Yeah. They're good. It's just... I think I'm liking more than Cheetos. Can you see Mia? She's right there. No, she's right here. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, Liesl, with the yukas. It's good. All right. It reminds me of a pool. Of a pool? Like a swimming pool? I was like, a, I had like the same smell of one that we've been uh, to. yes. Chlorine, my favorite flavor. I was kind of thinking, kind of, kind of tastes like... It's just... The taste kind of reminds me of it. I don't know. There you have it. <laughs> the taste of chlorine. All right. Can we have it? Oh, I think they're good. You what? want more? Uh, Wait, I want. She hasn't tried it yet. Had, you haven't had one? No. Oh. I was and, totally uh, good. I think you have to try this yet. 
you've, you've had it, but just did try oh, you it. did just try it. All right, I think that's everything. I had three. Lisa's on her third. Yeah, it's okay. Does it taste like chlorine? No. <laughs> Does it taste like mayo and ketchup? Mayo and ketchup here. So I don't know why. So remember, these are from Costa Rica. So it could be that in Costa Rica, the flavor of Creole is call is is ketchup and mayo. Uh, Costa Rica does not have a large Creole presence. They don't have a large um, Caribbean uh, uh, population of their own. Like they, they have a lot of people on the Caribbean, but they're from Costa Rica proper. Here in Nicaragua, our Caribbean coast is actually Creole. Uh, it's an English speaking Creole uh, zone. It's the mosquitoes uh, live there. And so it's a completely different culture with their own food that is more associated with New Orleans, that region, Jamaica, and those countries. So uh, when we use Creole here in Nicaragua, we would have a different expectation potentially than they do in Costa Rica. So it's possible that this is a weird definition of, of Creole that comes just from Costa Rica. Here, the same combination, ketchup and mayo together, is called salsa rosada. It's very popular. We get it with shrimp. We get it with fish fingers. Um, a lot of things like that. A lot of seafood things. They just naturally make it French fries. A lot of times you can just... a lot. Of, I mean, people will give you ketchup quite often. But if you ask for salsa rosada, everybody has it ready. Everyone serves it. No one's going to be surprised. Um, they really use it a lot here, which I appreciate because I like the ketchup mayo combination better in most cases than just ketchup or mayo by themselves. Um, and I really like it on like... Um, I really like it on shrimp, and I really like it on french fries. Yeah, I haven't had much of ketchup and mayo like mixed together until we moved here. Yeah, and, I mean... I never really mixed them. <laughs> your mother, when she makes um, french fry sauce, she does those as the primary base with a little bit of mustard and a little bit of ranch. Maybe a little bit of barbecue. It's like a lot of flavors mixed together, but the base is, is ketchup and, and mayo. All right, so that's our show for today. Thanks for joining me, girls. You're welcome. Yep. Anything additional that we want to say about kitty snacks in Costa Rica? Nope. No. All right. We're interested in finding out what you guys want to see next on our next episode. I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>